What is magnetism? Investigate what is magnetism? Practical investigation. Different types of permanent magnets. Bar and horseshoe. What is magnetism? Some people use fridge magnets to keep notes or lists on the fridge's door. You even get magnets in the shape of words or letters that you can put on a fridge door to play with. The magnets make the letters stick to the metal of the fridge door. Thousands of years ago, humans discovered that a certain type of rock could attract iron. This rock was called lodestone. People believed that it had magical powers. Pieces of lodestone would also push or pull other pieces of lodestone. The ability to attract iron is called magnetism. We now know that lodestone contains a material called magnetite, which is a kind of iron oxide. Iron oxides are chemical compounds of iron and oxygen. Lodestone is a natural magnet. All magnets are able to attract other magnets or magnetic objects. Magnetic objects consist of iron or some other metals. Definition Magnetism is a force that can attract, bring closer, or repel, push away objects that have a magnetic material like iron inside them. Permanent magnets and the magnetic fields. You have learned that magnets can pull certain objects towards them because the objects have a magnetic field around them. An object that a magnet moves becomes a temporary magnet. A temporary magnet is not a magnet all the time. When you move a paperclip within the magnetic field of the magnet, the paperclip also becomes a magnet. The paperclip loses its magnetic field. Quickly, a permanent magnet keeps its magnetic properties for a long time. A temporary magnet acts as a magnet only as long as it is in the magnetic field of a permanent magnet. A lodestone is a natural permanent magnet. You also get artificially made permanent magnets. These magnets have a north end and a south end, but they can come in different shapes. There are two basic shapes of magnets that you will use. Bar magnets and horseshoe magnets. Bar magnets, left, are rectangular with a north. Pole on one end of the bar and a south pole on the opposite end of the bar. This means that the poles are far apart. Horseshoe magnets, right, also have a north and a south pole, but the bar has been bent into a curved shape. This bend brings the north and south poles closer together than they would be in a bar magnet. Practical Investigation for this investigation, you will need two bar magnets with the north and south poles marked. Your teacher will demonstrate the following practical activity. Hold a bar magnet in one hand and put another bar magnet on your desk. Bring the north end of the magnet in your hand close to the north end of the magnet on the desk. Write down what happens when you bring the north poles of the two bar magnets closer together. Now bring the south pole of one of the bar magnets close to the south pole of the other bar magnet. Write down what happens when you bring the south poles of the two bar magnets closer together. Now bring the north end of one bar magnet close to the south pole of the other bar magnet. Write down what happens when you bring the north pole close to the south pole. Conclusion you should have noticed that as the north poles were brought together, there was a resistance to getting too close. Therefore, it is difficult to get two north or south poles to touch each other. However, when you bring the north pole close to the south pole, they pull towards each other. When the poles are the same, the force pushes them apart, but when the poles are different, the force pulls them together. So, a North Pole and a South Pole attract each other, while a North and a North Pole or a South and a South Pole repel each other. The magnetic field around each magnet has direction. We say that unlike poles of a magnet attract each other and like poles repel each other.